want to get some more insight here. We want to bring in our Eugene Robinson, of course, a former NFL player and co-host of our own Charlotte today. So Eugene, you've got some perspective here about maybe what was happening on the sidelines, about the medical attention that was quickly ushered in. I've never seen this before, an ambulance driving onto a football field. This is really unprecedented for, for everybody involved and, and our prayers go out to Damar and his family. Uh, yeah, this is really unprecedented because you don't expect that. Typically when a guy gets hurt on the field, there's an ACL or something, they can give you a thumbs up that, hey, they're going to be okay. But this seemed totally different. This seemed much, much more dire that when he collapsed on the field, that you knew that something else was severely, severely wrong. And the fact that they had to do CPR on him, you can tell that this is a trauma situation that they got to get this young man some some serious help immediately too and so that's going to affect every player out there on the field because football is a brotherhood despite what team you're on everybody laces up their shoes and puts on their pads and any of that can happen to any one of us on the field and that's what makes it so real when it happens to one of your brothers you just stop everything and you just absolutely feel in that moment yeah, it was really nerve wracking to to not only see the hit and then the collapse, but then also just to watch the reactions from the other players on the field, um, the hugging, the cries, you know, the tears. It, it, it really just, I feel like, shocked all of us to see that. Um, we know that there was some sort of deliberation period where they were trying to decide whether to go forward with the game. I'm just curious if you have any insights into you know, if we would actually see this game played again, how that would look, would we would we want to see this played so soon again, I guess, given all that's happened? Well, you know, this, this game was, you know, built as a important game, and that took back seat to the injury of DeMar. I mean, both the Bengals and, and the Bills are, are vying for uh, who's going to be first and the playoffs and positioning in the playoffs, but all that took a back seat immediately. Players are not thinking about being back on the field or when they're going to reschedule the game. All they're thinking about is the life of that young man that matters. Don't forget, you spend hours and hours and hours a day more with these guys than you do with your own family at times because you're five, six, seven days a week with this person all day long. And so for you to just jump out there and play a football game, you're not going to do that because all you want to know is, is my guy okay? Is he all right? Is he going to be okay? Uh, what are they doing right now? All those questions are surfacing right now, and that takes center stage. And we can go, we can play a game another time. Right now, DeMar is the most important person on the planet right now, and we need to find out what is going on with him and is he going to be okay? Yeah, indeed. I guess that's what I was thinking when I was – thinking about, you know, maybe why they didn't just postpone it right then and there. Um, as far as the medical response that you saw there, I mean, do you, can you kind of recall the sort of um, medical care that could be ushered in quickly in a time of crisis to an NFL football field like this? Yeah, but so typically what happens is your training staff, you always have an orthopedic, you have a general practitioner, a doctor, you got a number of a medical staff that's on your team. And typically when somebody gets hurt, immediately the trainer is the first, you know, the first line of defense, they go out there and along with the doctors. Um, and then when they have to do bring an ambulance on the field, because sometimes if it's a ACL, they just bring a cart on, they cart a guy out, and they can go back inside and do x-rays and things of that nature. But this situation is different because they immediately took him to the hospital, Cincinnati uh, Hospital. And that tells you that this is really a critical situation. Time is of the essence. Let's get him some help because he doesn't need to be on this field. We got to get him into a place that we can we can take care of him because the facility that we're at right now is not equipped to handle the trauma that he's experiencing. Yeah. All right, Eugene, thank you so much for taking the time to give us these insights. And yes, we indeed echo just what you've said about this is this is all about seeing him get better. And, and we hope that he does recover quickly. And we are just thinking of him and his family. So Eugene, thank you. Thank you.